Our first speaker this evening is Ying Chao Wang, whose presentation is entitled Nanomaterial Enabled Optical Modulation of Cellular Activity from Electrophysiology to Protein Production. Welcome. Let's get some excitement, starting with talking about human brains. Human brain is the most complicated system in our body. It is made up of 80 billion of cells. These cells are called neurons. Neurons are the fundamental units to help us build up our nerve system, which can help us to see, to hear, to feel, and to interact with this world. But unfortunately, Neurological disorder is a very severe issue. It consists of 7% of total global disability. The disorders, including Parkinson's disease, depressive disorder, or spinal cord injury. Currently, the brain-machine interface has shown its permissibility to help with restoring the function of neurons. However, these implanted electronics are suffering from material degradation problem over time, and also they might induce the inflammation of the nerve system. What I'm working on is using the remote way to achieve this. How will you do? The answer is light and nanomaterials. The light responsive nanomaterial can convert the light energy to thermal energy or electric energy. This local temperature rise or electric field can achieve the modulation of the cell activity. My work is designing the material which can achieve a high conversion of energy. We observed that maxi nanoflakes and silicon graphene nanowires can achieve high optical response with lower incident energy. I'm also exploring more application of how to use this light and material interface. We successfully shown the neural excitation and protein production without generating irreversible damage to the cells and tissues. This remote and non-genetic technology can achieve a subcellular resolution, and it will not cause damage compared with the implanted electronics. We really hope to apply this technology for further clinical use to help with patients to restore their function and to make them healthier. Thank you.